Hi guys, it's Fernanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective haul. I've been purchasing things here and there for the past like month. Of course, the ice cream truck is gonna go around my apartment complex right now. Okay, let's try that again. So today's video is going to be a collective haul of things I've been purchasing here and there for the past like month and a half, if not more, for my classroom. If you don't know, I am gonna be a first year teacher in the fall. I'll be teaching kindergarten. So of course I am super, super excited to get in my classroom and start decorating. I think I'm able to do that this week. So that's a big reason why I've been shopping around so much, but also I just love shopping in general, so I couldn't help myself, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with things from Target. I have them all laid out here right next to me. So let's see, where should I start? So the first thing I picked up is this balloon banner. This says yay on it, and I've seen it a ton on Instagram, so that's why I wanted to get it. I know I had it in gold and silver, but my Target only had one left, and it happened to this one in silver, which is perfect because I prefer silver when it comes to like decor items. So I plan on putting this either above my word wall or below my smart board. And in case you were wondering, this was from the Target dollar spot and it was $5 so it was one of the more pricier items, but I'm okay with it because it's super cute. Then I got two like plush toys I guess and they're super cute. I got this donut. I love donuts and I also got this popsicle dude thing. So I've seen other teachers have reading buddies, so just stuffed animals for kids to be able to have when they read so i wanted to start collecting a few of them and i got these two for that reason and they are both three dollars from the target dollar spot as well pretty much everything is from the target dollar spot and if it's not i'll specify but from now on if i don't say where it's from it's from the target dollar spot so the next thing i picked up is this felt alphabet chart so it looks like this it's a really pretty teal color so it just has the alphabet on it and it has like little icons or pictures that kids can match to the letter. So it has an apple, A for apple, they would put it there. And I bought this because I can always add more pictures to it. So for example, for G, I could print out like a gorilla, laminate it and add like a Velcro strip on the back so you can always put it on top of this. So I'm really excited about this one. This one was also $5. The next two things I saw everywhere on Instagram or at least the teacher Instagram pages and it's these two. So this one is the inflatable bowling pins set, which I have not opened yet. I was going to use it for summer school, but I decided not to. Um, but it looks really fun. I feel like you can easily use this to review sight words or letter sounds and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about this one. This one was also $5. And then, of course, I also picked up this giant inflatable yard dice. It comes with four, and I probably use this with math somehow, so... Again, super excited about this, super happy I found it as well, and this was $5. Then I also picked up two of these little buckets. They are white with like colorful triangles on them, I don't know if you can see. And I plan to use these for pencils, so I'm going to have one of them for sharpened pencils and another one for unsharpened pencils. These were not in the Target dollar spot, but they were in the party aisle and they were only a dollar, so they're really cute, really sturdy. Then I bought a bunch of these puzzles, so I bought two of each. One of them is called the Alphabet Connect, which is just like a letter and then a picture, so E and then an elephant. You would connect them together, and they come with 14 double-sided puzzle cards, which is great. Then I have the com then I have complete the word, so they have like duck, and it's divided in duck. So students would connect those two together, and it has pictures to help them out. So I bought two of those. These are also 14 double-sided pieces for cards. And then the last sets that I picked up are count and match. So they have a number on one side and then a picture on the other side to kind of match with a number. So there's a one and there's one what? So there's a one and then one butterfly so you would match those two together. So the reason I picked up two of each is because I would want to have them for like morning bins or maybe when students finish something early they can get one of these and play with them. These are all $1 each, which is a great deal. They also had opposites, but I didn't pick those up because I prefer these instead. And then for older grades, they also have presidents and uh, I wanna say capitals, but I'm not entirely sure. My friend that's gonna teach fourth grade was telling me about them, so thanks to her, Callie, Callie, if you ever watch this, thanks to you, I picked these up. So now let's move on to things that are not from Target. The first one is this stamp. 
So this stamp is personalized. I got it from Etsy. I'll link the seller down below. And I bought this to label my library books that I've purchased that I'm going to have in my classroom. So it's really cute. It says Miss Sandoval's classroom. And I bought like a bunch of different colored ink from the Dollar Tree that I don't know where it is. But I plan on using this for my books instead of writing out my name in every single book. I can just stamp it. So I'm really happy with this. This was super inexpensive. It was only like $7. So if you are interested in something like this, I'll have the seller link down below. Next, I have book bins. And I'm so happy. So I have been collecting picture books for about a year or two years now so I feel like my collection is kind of like it's not huge but it's pretty decent for a first year teacher in my opinion but I didn't have anywhere to store them at and I was thinking about buying like bins from Dollar Tree but at the same time I didn't want to because I've heard from multiple teachers that they break super super easily so I didn't want to buy a bunch and then have to replace them like often so I was also so because of that I was looking at book bins very similar to these from Lakeshore Learning I believe but they were super expensive there and I was this close to start buying a few sets at a time but I ended up not doing that because I wasn't a fan of the color schemes that they had and then last weekend I went to Walmart and I saw these and they're so they come in a set of five they are primary colors which I'm not a fan of I've said it in my vlog but it's okay I'm gonna spray paint them I actually already started spray painting them and the color scheme for my library is going to be teal coral um, lime green and hot pink and I'm thinking of maybe adding gold in it too I know I said I prefer silver for decor purposes but with those colors I feel like gold looks better so I don't know about that one just yet but for sure those four colors are gonna be part of the color scheme so I've already started spray painting them and they are coming out really really good so in a later video I will show you what they end up looking like but these are the perfect size they also come with like a label pouch thing and they are pretty big and the plastic seems pretty sturdy so it, so they are definitely worth the price and I totally forgot to tell you how much they were they were ten dollars for a set of five which I think is a great deal so I ended up buying five sets and I kind of want to buy two more just in case but if you have them at your Walmart go ahead and go buy them fast because I did post about them on a kindergarten page that I'm part of on Facebook and apparently they were starting to sell out online so if you see them at your local Walmart pick them up okay so I have one more thing and I think I've shown it in a vlog as well but I'm so excited about these so I ended up buying these um, lap desks they can't even fit so yeah these are it they are lime green I love the color they have like little pockets on each side and they're just perfect I kind of want to implement flexible seating but I don't know if I want to go all out from the beginning of the year or like slowly transition towards it whichever way I decide I do want to use these so what I'm thinking right now that maybe for stations or centers students can use these if they're working on writing or something like that I ended up buying six of these at Michael's and they were $7.95 a piece I think but Michael's always has like deals going on so when I bought them they were having a Memorial Day sale so I got like 20% off then I got 40% off of one then I got an additional 20% off for something else that I don't remember so I ended up getting a really good deal on these so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot let me know in the comments below what you have been buying for your classroom or what you plan on buying for your classroom because I would love to know and if you want to follow me on social media I'll have the links down below oh so, yep I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!